Hi there, thanks for tuning into this video. So first up we're going to simulate a engineer coming on site to perform a maintenance operation. And here's the engineer now, and uh, he's setting up a laptop. Um, I don't know where that laptop's come from, I don't know anything about it, I don't know what software might be on it. And he's plugging in a network cable. So already we can see there's a potential hazard there and now he's going to log on to a system this is a, a demo system but this could be a real system and he's going to stop and start the process he could hit that emergency shutdown button with no oversight uh, with no auditability and now we can see something has happened uh, let's go over to our continuous threat detection system from clarity to see what might be the cause and yeah there's you know there's threats already in play on our network that are probably caused by that laptop being plugged in now let's have a look at what we should have done this is kyle kyle's a third party engineer and he's uh, working from home he could be working in an office somewhere else and he's logging in via our secure remote access solution it requires two-factor authentication so he's going to put in his one-time password there and log in to the secure remote access solution from Clarity. Now he needs to request access prior to being allowed onto the system and give a reason for his access and that can even be time-based so restricted by when and um, how long he's allowed access to the system for. Uh, this is me logging in and now I get the option to approve or deny that request for access to those systems and in this case I'm going to hit approve and now I'm going to wait because I know that Kyle is waiting to get onto this system and in a few moments I'm going to see Kyle drop in and start working on that same HMI that we looked at before and I've opened his session now I can see what he's doing I've got supervisory oversight he can go in and start and stop the system but if I can see that he's doing something I don't think he ought to be doing, if he starts looking to hover over that emergency shutdown button, I've got the option to go in and disconnect all sessions or disconnect just this session. And I'm going to go and do that now. So with a confirmation, click OK, Kyle is disconnected from the system. And of course, there's been no access directly onto our network to introduce viruses, threats onto the network. So thanks for watching and do look out for our upcoming videos on how to recover from a situation using our Proteus Managed Service or MDT Autosave.